Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, man. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, man, we must continue to set the record straight, stop the lies, stop the narratives, and what? Stop them from rewriting the history. And we must also uphold the standard the standard of greatness and excellence of the all-time greats, the greats that came before these guys of this era. And in this video, we're going to talk about Giannis and how he's not living up to that standard and how he needs to start taking some of the responsibility for the struggles of the Milwaukee Bucks over the last, I don't know, 10 games, whatever it's been. They have looked like a mediocre basketball team at best, losing to these teams that are not even in the playoffs, not even in the play-in. And once again, Giannis has been load managing this season. And once again, like I said, he has to start taking accountability for these things. We must hold him to the standard. We're going to talk about in this video, guys. And I want to thank you guys, everyone across the world, everyone across the states has been supporting my channel. Once again, I am truly, truly humble, guys, by all the support, man. Much respect to all the true basketball fans out there that are standing up to all the nonsense, man, all the lies. You guys know the deal, man. So thank you. Everyone in the membership, shout out to you guys again, man. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, I don't really do a lot of videos on Giannis. I've done a couple of videos maybe talking about him. I did a video uh, at the end of last season. If you guys remember, when the Bucks were beat by the uh, Miami Heat in the first round, right? They were upset by the Miami Heat in the first round last year. And you remember, guys, I did a video talking about how Giannis brought up Michael Jordan's name in the post-game press conference. And I thought it was the stupidest thing ever. I didn't understand why Giannis was bringing up Michael Jordan. Once again, I told you these guys are trying to deflect off of them because they never want to take any blame. They never want to take any heat. And Giannis started crying to the reporter about failure. Failure was Michael Jordan played for 15 years and he won six champions. Was other years failure? Like, it was the most stupid thing that I ever... Like, I understood what he was trying to say, but at the same time, he wasn't coming to terms with the reality. And the reality was, Michael Jordan never got upset in the NBA playoffs. Never lost at home court advantage. Was never the number one seed and lost to an eight seed. Never happened. So for him to bring up Michael Jordan was invalid. Also, when they talk about failure, the season last year for the Bucks was a failure. No matter what Giannis wants to talk about, it wasn't a failure. It was absolutely a failure. Not because you didn't win the championship, but because you got eliminated in the first round by an HC playing team. This is who eliminated you when you were the number one seed, the heavy favorites. But you get knocked out in the first round. Giannis also missed the game. And if you guys remember, this is why I ex what I exposed about Giannis and the Milwaukee Bucks last season. Giannis sat the game out. The Bucs won the one game that he sat out. So what did they do? They believed because they won the one game without Giannis that he could sit again. And it cost them the series, guys. This is what happens to these guys who load manage. You cannot load manage in the postseason. Michael Jordan never missed any postseason games in Korea. Not one single postseason game did Michael Jordan ever miss. But Giannis wants to bring up Michael Jordan in the post-game press comments last season. I told you that's what it exposed and it was embarrassing for Giannis. I lost a little bit of respect for him for bringing up Michael Jordan and saying that it wasn't a failure. The Milwaukee Bucks season was a failure, guys. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Giannis, is, he's lost on that. That was a failure. Last year was a failure, Giannis. You got bumped down the first round with home court advances, the number one seed. It's a failure. But when we think about this season now, this is supposed to be the redemption season for someone like Giannis, man. Not saying that the Bucs have to win a title this season. However, they just acquired Damian Lillard this season, right? So now the expectations are there once again for the Milwaukee Bucks. They're one of the title favorites coming into this season. So once again, they must live up to expectations, but they're not living up to expectations. Guys like Damian, Damian Lillard are very inconsistent. To me, Damian Lillard is not that guy. He's not a primetime performer. I do not believe in a Damian Lillard come the postseason when it matters most. I do not believe in him. He can prove everybody wrong this season, and that's what he's going to have to do. But when we talk about Giannis, he's supposed to be the leader. But this man does not want to take any of the criticism, any of the heat. All I see on social media is everybody pointing the finger at Doc Rivers. Everyone points the finger at Doc Rivers, what Doc Rivers hasn't done what he's done, since he's been there. Let's blame Doc Rivers. And I don't agree that the Bucs should have made a coaching change in the middle of the season. To me, that was stupid. It didn't make any sense. But nonetheless, they did make a coaching change. And Doc Rivers had taken a lot of heat in the media. But Giannis, for some reason, never takes the kind of heat that some of these other all-time great players t uh, take. So once again, we must keep the standard the same, guys. We cannot give all these other players heat. The Steph Currys, the Kevin Durants, the LeBron Jameses, the Kawhi Leonards, the James Hardens, the Russell Westbrooks. We can't give all of those guys all the heat. 
right? But then we don't give the heat to Giannis. No, Giannis must start taking the heat for the way that his team is performing. He's once again supposed to be the leader. See, these guys lack true leadership. They do not want to be leaders. They want to be paid like the leaders. They want to be paid like the star players. But no one wants to be a true leader and lead these guys. Take the heat. Take the blame. No, so it goes on Doc Rivers. It goes on guys like Lillard and, and Chris Middleton in the past. Like, these guys get all the blame. They never give Giannis the blame. But Giannis, once again, has not been living up to the hype. He is once again underachieving and the Milwaukee Bucks are floundering around come the end of the season. And once again, I told you guys, this is supposed to be a redemption season for someone like Giannis. Going out the way that he went out last season, missing playoff games, load managing in the postseason, getting beat by a number one seed handedly. That to me is embarrassing. And Giannis needs to have a, 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 big, a big season this year. Not saying he's having a bad season, but not having one of those great seasons. To me, his defensive effort has not has been as consistent as it was in the past. I don't even believe he made an all-defensive team last season, Giannis. So this is what we're talking about for someone like a Giannis, man. He must be kept and held to that standard of one of the all-time greats. He's one of the all-time great players, especially of his era. But yet still, he's not taking the same heat as some of the other all-time great players of this era, right? So let's think about this now. Like I said, Giannis has load managed. He's become a load manager. Not saying that he's doing it to a, a level of some of the other players, but he's done it. He missed a game last night. Where was Giannis last night? Is Giannis injured? No. Once again, these guys miss games without injuries, without legit injuries. They just miss games. And once again, the Bucks lose another game. And this is what I'm always telling you guys about. These guys must be held to the standard. If you're the leader of your team, you're getting paid the most money. You're supposed to be the face of your franchise. You should be taking all of the blame or most of the blame, right? They'll give Giannis all the credit. They win a title, right? This is what we did to Giannis a couple of years back, right? Everyone praised Giannis as doing it the right way. But all of a sudden, ever since he's won that title, no one wants to hold him to the standard of an all-time great. He's an all-time great player. He needs to be held to that standard, man. Last year was an embarrassment the way that he went out in the postseason. And once again, for him to bring up Michael Jordan that way to me, like I said, I lost a little bit of respect for Giannis like that. Because once again, he played the victim. Oh, it's not a failure. Yeah, it is a failure, man. You failed out. You lost in the first round as a number one seed, man, to an eight seed. That's a failure, man. That's a failure. You collapsed. You guys, you guys what? You guys were upset. It's an upset. You guys were the favorites to win this. And once again, the Bucs were a heavy favorite this season, and they're floundering around again, and the inconsistencies are there, but they want to blame Doc Rivers. They want to blame this guy. They want to blame that guy. I'm blaming Giannis, man. Giannis needs to step it up. This is what he needs to do. We must hold the standard, guys. We must hold the standard. If Giannis is one of the all-time great players, which he is, then you must hold him to that standard. Right? You can't give these guys excuses over and over and over again. You can't do it. You can't let them play the victim or act like they, they, it wasn't a failure. Like I said, I was embarrassed for him to come at the reporter that way and try to make the reporter look stupid for asking if the senior was a failure. Once again, you bring up Michael Jordan, who never lost in the first round as an eight seed. I mean, as a number one seed. Never lost at home court. Never once lost at home court. And Giannis brings up Michael Jordan. Once again, they always must bring up Michael Jordan when it is not valid, right? Why do they do it? To deflect off of their failure. That's all he was doing. He was bringing up Michael Jordan to deflect it. Michael Jordan played 15 seasons, but he only won uh, six titles, so the other years were a failure. Like, come on, man. No, they were not failures. That was the progression. That was the grind of Michael Jordan those other years that you're mentioning, Giannis. He had to earn it. You lost as a number one seed, and then you bring up Michael Jordan. Sounds stupid. This guy must take responsibility, man. He must start taking accountability for the Bucs. A lot of pressure on the Bucs this season, man. A lot of pressure on the Bucs, man. And Yasos needs to start taking some heat. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.